what is Beyond Blue and what does it mean? Beyond Blue is a national independent organisation working to address issues associated with depression, anxiety and related substance misuse disorder. The name Beyond Blue is created by joining two words that express the aims of this organisation. Blue, which can also mean depressed, upset and sad. And of course Beyond focuses on the times after depression. Therefore the organisation is appropriately named Beyond Blue. What is depression? The word depression is often thought to mean sadness or a low mood. However, depression is more than just a low mood, it's a serious illness. While everyone feels sad, irritable, moody or low from time to time, some people experience these feelings intensely for a long period of time and often without any obvious reason. People find it hard to function every day and may be reluctant to participate in activities they once enjoyed. Depression is very common. In Australia, around one million adults will live with depression. On average, 20% of Australians will experience depression throughout their lifetime. Do you have depression? How would you know? A person may be depressed if for more than two weeks they have felt sad, down or miserable most of the time, lost interest or pleasure in most of their usual activities and experienced symptoms in at least three of the following four categories. The first category is feelings second category thoughts, third category changes in behaviour and the last category physical changes. Now with feelings you may have had changes in your feelings and you may feel overwhelmed, guilty, you may feel irritable, you could have feelings of frustration or you may just feel unhappy. You could feel indecisive. You may have feelings of disappointment. You could feel miserable and sad. You may also feel tearful. The second category is thoughts. You may think, it's my fault, it's always my fault. I'm a failure. Or you may think, nothing good ever happens to me. There could be thoughts of worthlessness. Or you could think, life is just not worth living. The third category is changes in your behaviour. You may stop doing the things that you once enjoyed. You could stop going out. You may not be getting things done at work. You may be withdrawing from your family and friends. You could be relying on alcohol and sedatives. You may have an inability to concentrate. The last category is physical changes. You may feel tired all the time. You could feel sick and run down. You may have slowness of movement. 
You could also have slowness of thinking. You could suffer headaches and have muscular or stomach pains. You may have sleep problems. Or there could be changes in your eating habits. You may have a poor appetite with weight loss or you may be constantly hungry. Risk factors for depression in people who are deaf or hard of hearing. Everyone in the community experiences depression. Just because you are deaf doesn't mean that you will have depression. Here are some reasons why people who are deaf may feel down, isolated and lonely. The first reason is if they think they are not understood by others. For example, their family members, friends or work colleagues don't know how to communicate with them. This could lead to people feeling confused and detached from what is going on around them. Another reason is if they don't know how to express themselves and their feelings. This may be because they can't express themselves in words or the person with whom they wish to communicate with is having difficulty communicating. For example, they may be shouting, yelling or using negative facial gestures. Another reason might be in a workplace. If people don't understand your communication style and there is no interpreter or note taker provided, this could lead to feelings of frustration. Another reason may be people who experience gradual or subtle hearing loss may find it difficult to communicate in loud and congested areas. Treatments for depression. Depression is a treatable illness and with the right treatment, most people will recover. There are many types of treatments available. The first one is a psychological treatment and the second treatment is medication. Psychological treatments have two available. The first one is cognitive behaviour therapy. It's also referred to as CBT. This therapy is where you will sit with your therapist and discuss your feelings and thoughts of negativity. This helps people learn to identify and change these thoughts to positive behaviours. The second form of therapy is interpersonal therapy. This is also referred to as IPT. The way we get along with others is important to how we feel. Interpersonal therapy helps people find new ways to improve relationships in order to begin to feel better. The second form of treatment is medication. If a person is only mildly or moderately depressed, psychological treatment alone may be effective. However, if depression is severe or persists, medication is often needed. Talk to a doctor about how antidepressants work and ask about any side effects. Antidepressant medication can take 7 to 21 days to work effectively and should not be started or stopped without medical advice. You should ask your doctor or GP for advice on how to find the help that is right for you. How to make yourself understood when seeking help for depression. Talking about depression can be challenging. It can be even more difficult when there are communication barriers to overcome. This can lead to depression being undetected, untreated or misdiagnosed. When you make the appointment, 
it is important to let the health professional know that you are deaf or you have a hearing loss. And you need to ask for an accredited Auslan interpreter. This can be accessed free for private medical appointments through NABS. Be sure to ask for a professional level interpreter. You may also need a longer consultation so that you don't feel pressured or rushed to explain your communication requirements along with your symptoms. If you are using an Auslan interpreter, ask the health professional to talk to you directly and not to talk to the interpreter. If you don't need an Auslan interpreter, you may want to arrange for someone who can help you with communication to attend the appointment with you. For example, you could use a note taker. So you want to find out more information? You can have a look at the Beyond Blue website. There you will find lots of information about doctors, psychologists and general information about depression. There is also links to other organisations to find the right service for you.